What's up YouTube, it's your boy Pat and I'm here with the part two, as I promised. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually optimize your translated web pages and website by implementing some easy SEO tactics that will get you ranking on the first page of Google as long as you do it correctly. All right guys, now first and foremost, I'm going to be showing you how to rank your website for a targeted translated language in the same country. So in my experience, I do Spanish in the US. So just to make it clear, I'm not targeting another country. I'm simply targeting another audience in this same country. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into some SEO. Boom. All right, guys, so these are the seven steps that I used for my client to rank on the first page for our targeted translated keywords and pages okay so let's get right into it step number one is to create a sub directory that is user friendly and google friendly for your targeted language okay so basically what you want to do is you want to create a sub directory top level domain which in my case for Spanish was www.yourwebsite.com slash es okay so it would just be this would be my home page right here yourwebsite.com slash es this is telling Google that the content is in Spanish but it's only targeting people here in the US that actually speak Spanish not the other way around so if it was yourwebsite.com slash mx Google would recognize this as your website and your targeted audience to be in Mexico, which is not the case for me as my client's business is in Dallas, Texas. So we would keep it .com slash es, okay? Very simple. This makes it easy for Google to understand that it's targeting only the Spanish language in the US, okay? And then for service page, it'd be yourwebsite.com slash es slash your service okay and so forth you want to make sure your URL structure is categorized nicely and well organized okay step number two is to revise the translated content or hire someone okay so in the previous video I showed you how to translate your website and pages using polylang which makes it very simple it uses a integrated system called Lingotech now Lingotech is what actually translates all the content for you. The only downside is that it's very similar to Google Translate. So which what that means it's it's not entirely accurate as it would be to a native speaker. So it might have some grammatical and spelling issues in the content. So you want to make sure you either do it yourself if you're capable or go on Fiverr or Upwork and just hire someone for very cheap to just look over the content because quality content is everything to Google. So you wanna make sure you have good content that flows well and is also user friendly, okay? Step number three is to translate your metadata, your meta description and the title, okay? So what that is, it is this. So if we do a search for Dallas Plumbing, that is plumbing services, that is plumbing company, that is the meta title. And everything that's underneath is the meta description, okay? And if you're using a plugin like Yoast SEO on WordPress, that makes that very simple to do. And obviously you want to add the targeted city and the keyword for your service or industry in the translated language. So in my case, I make sure I translate the service and the industry into Spanish okay obviously the city is gonna stay the same because no matter the translation it's gonna still remain the same okay very simple step number four translate your menus and navigations okay so just make sure you translate them into the translated language so for me it's Spanish for you it might be something else but just go ahead and do that very easy to do on WordPress if you don't know how to do that just do a simple Google search how to create a menu 
in a different language on WordPress. And then step number five is to create a sitemap and submit it to Google Search Console. So this is going to help your website get indexed quicker on Google, which basically by submitting it to Google Search Console, you're just telling Google Crawlbots to go ahead and crawl your website and all your pages. Okay, and you can get the sitemap very easily and Yoast SEO does it all for you. So you just go into Yoast SEO, get your sitemap, copy and paste it into your Google Search Console. Go down to sitemaps and then you can just go in here and just enter your sitemap and submit. As you can see, I've submitted my sitemaps in the past and it's very easy, very simple to do. Okay, don't forget that step. Number six is to translate the alt text for images. Alt text is just a HTML piece of code that goes on your images that can tell Google what that image is about. So you just want to make sure to add a keyword or key phrase, anything related to your topic, to your niche or industry to give Google that extra hint of relevancy. Okay. And just make sure you translate it for the language that you're targeting. Again, very simple to do. Okay. And the last step is just to use local SEO keywords, okay? So just take your English or your default language that you're already doing or may already be ranking for and just translate it, okay? So in my case, it's, it's this is the translation, Doctor Holístico en Dallas. Okay, this is the Spanish translation. The English key term for this is just Holistic Doctor in Dallas, okay? Very simple to do, just go ahead into Google Translate and just find the actual translation and just copy and paste it on your metadata, meta title, and probably two to three percent within your actual content, okay? This is what's gonna help you rank, okay? So if you do these seven steps, which are not hard to do, okay? So do these seven steps and I guarantee you'll be ranking pretty soon on the first page of Google. All right guys, so make sure you subscribe I'm going to be doing a lot more digital marketing and SEO related videos. Leave a like if you learned something new. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.